Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Dejana here, back with another freaking video today. And if you can't already tell by the title, I'm gonna give y'all some tips and tricks on how I just stay in good vibes and good energy and how I just stay happy and just, you know, do me. So um, if you are interested or wanting to know a little tips or things that may help you stay in better vibes or good energy, then just keep on watching. But before I do go ahead and get into the video, go ahead, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And thank y'all for watching. And now we can go ahead and get into the video. Okay, y'all, so I really got like 10 tips or tricks or however you want to say it. Plus like two more things that kind of is in my routine or kind of just something that I want to start including to, you know, to my to be my higher self. Um so yeah, and these not in order or anything. This just how they came into my mind off the bat, off you know, in my head. My first one was music. If you know me, you know I love music, y'all. Like outside of me working, or like on days that I do have to work, I'm listening to music most of the time. Like I'm listening to music at the beginning of the day. I'm listening to music on my breaks. I'm listening to music when I get off work. Like, I just love music. Music just made me so happy. Music just keep me in good vibes, good energy, keep my energy up. Like, I just love freaking music. So, I don't know. I just think music just helps with a lot of things. So, I mean, if you, if you don't like music, that's on you. I don't really know how. But for me, it's just more so like listening to music. Even if it's like like relaxation music or anything like that like i just love to be listening to music and like i said even if you can't just listen to music all day because you got other shit going on like i said little stuff like listening to a few three songs on a break like stuff like that i don't know it just it helps me i it just keeps me going and help my day pass too faster so that's my number one number two a clean space so y'all the older i am getting the more i'm noticing like i like i want my space to be clean because when your space is just cluttered your mind start getting cluttered too so what i be doing is like i don't know i feel like i'm the person that clean up every day because i feel like i usually was a messier person not i'm not dirty or nasty it's the difference between messy and dirty and nasty okay i would say i'm messy in the sense of i have a lot of clothes it be, it be clothes everywhere that really be the issue that make it look like it's dirty or messy or whatever the case is but i noticed that now as i get older i enjoy my space being clean so like at the beginning of the weeks or like before i go into a new week like sundays or the weekends or something i'm tidying up my space even though i feel like i kind of like i'm getting to the point where i'm older and i'm starting to do it like every day feels like but having a cleaner space or just a clean floor a clean area it just it just makes everything better make you feel better like make your mind feel more put together i don't know i just like to have a clean space so um i pretty much just like make sure that my room like my space is clean my room my bathroom um i mean of course we make sure downstairs and stuff is like that clean but my space that i have to be in every day that i work in i want to be able to maneuver around walk around and you know you know just clean space that just helps clean your freaking space okay number three oh y'all showers showers if you like baths i mean take a bath or whatever but showers y'all i have always loved showers and back then i feel like they used to begin on me because i'd be in the shower for, <laughs> i'd be in the shower in the tub in the bathroom for so long but y'all i really just love the shower like that's one of my favorite things to do in a day it is it's up there like top three in a day that's probably my favorite thing to do to like especially like i mean i take showers throughout the day but especially at night time because i have um led lights in my bathroom so cut the lights off put the led lights on the steam be going shoot you might want to put you on a little slow music or a little meditation music something like that and just relax i feel like when i take showers and stuff like it washes the day off like I don't know i just love showers i always have like i just feel like that's the space where nobody else can come in or interrupt you 
you're getting clean like i said you're rinsing the day off you can talk to yourself you can you can do whatever you want in the shower so i love showers number four self freaking care okay one thing about me i don't have like a see i'm gonna get into this too at the end of the video but i don't have like a set routine i have nights where it's just like okay we're gonna Put the phone down for a minute we're going to i put on music like sometimes i use like relaxation music spa calm music or like just slow jams like just put on music and i'll go like i usually wash my face in the shower so after i get out the shower like on these specific nights where it is self-care i like put on a mask or like i do feet masks sometimes um or just exfoliating your face, exfoliating your skin, moisturizing, like that is self-care to me. And then spraying on a little perfume or something for you get in the bed, yeah, that's self-care to me. That's like, I mean, I feel like self-care comes in all forms, but like when I'm like, it's a self-care night, that's usually what I'm doing. Making sure like, um, like extractions for my face or clean my face up, put on a mask, like relax, light some candles, like little stuff like that. Um, yeah, little stuff like that just make you feel like relaxed and calm and just give you time to just be by yourself. Being by yourself, self-care, doing something by yourself. Do something by yourself. So even if it's like watching a show, go on a walk, uh, go out to eat, do some skincare, like little stuff like that is self-care. Make sure you have some freaking self-care and some self-time to your freaking self, obviously. <laughs> Next! Number five is getting done up. If you know me, if you know me, if you follow me on social media, if you just like a family member or something like that, you know I like to be done up. Probably every time that you see me, I be done up. Like nine times out of 10, I'm going to be like, because I mean, I feel like I don't really go nowhere. I'm sorry, y'all. This little, because I don't feel like I really, like in my day to day life, I work from home. So I don't really have to go nowhere for real. So when I do step out, it's because I'm going somewhere or I have something to do. So when I'm out, I see for me, this this is another one of Yeah, this is another one of my things that I put on my list too. But one thing about me is I like to dress nice. So when I work hard, I spend my money. I like to shop. I like to shop. So when I, when you see me, I got on a new outfit probably nine times out of ten. Um, my hair is slayed, my makeup is beat, like yeah, it's all there. <laughs> it's all there. So I just feel like that's just I don't know. I just like to look good because when you look good, you freaking feel good, and when you feel good, ain't can't nobody fucking tell you shit, okay? Cause they can't nobody tell me shit. <laughs> Let me tell you that they couldn't do that before. But when I yeah, when I'm on my shit, when I hop outside bet i'm on my shit when i'm outside yeah that's me so yeah i just feel like looking good like when you look good you feel good and who don't want to feel good so that's why i be feeling good because i be looking good and fuck so yeah just finding time to look good like even if it's just going out to eat get cute to go out to eat or even some days like it ain't even got to be getting all the way did up like some days because i work from home but some days I like to spice it up. Some days I like to actually get up, brush my hair out, like have my hair out while I'm in the house, like put on some perfume, put on a nice little house set, like stuff like that. Like just look good so you can feel good and, and you smell a little good too, you know what I'm saying? So that's another thing that I do in my self-care routine is like look good because I mean in my, um, in like my day-to-day -to, -day to keep me in good vibes, just look good because yeah, why not? Number six be leaning on yourself or give yourself time to like i don't know i don't know how to say it it's just pretty much like realize that life isn't perfect nobody's perfect you're never going to be perfect and that you can't tell the future like none of us know what's gonna happen next so be leaning on yourself like for me i don't really because i know like there are people who get in their heads and stuff and i know everybody has different mental health so I'm not really going to get too deep into that or more so in the aspect of like try to control your thoughts. Like for me, I feel like 
I mean, you can't really control them 100%, but just control how you let it alter your mood, if that makes sense. So, like, I don't really be in bad moods that often, but if I am in a bad mood or something, like, I don't know. Or if it's like I'm just got negative energy or negative vibes that day, like, or if I have a negative thought or something, instantly try to turn it into a positive thought, if that makes sense. So, or just figure out ways to make it a positive. Like, I don't know. I feel like so many people be so negative and in their heads or worried about what's next or what's going to happen in the future or how I get to this place. Like, take that shit a day at a time. That's me. I take stuff a day at a time. I don't like to plan stuff. You never know what's going to happen. You never know what's going to happen in the next second. Like, so, like, be lenient on yourself. Like, relax. Give yourself a break. Everything don't got to be perfect. Give yourself a little time. Literally. Relax. Number seven, mind your motherfucking business, okay? Yeah. And when I say mind your business, it's more so in the fact of like, I don't know. Because I don't want to say mind your, I mean, I say mind your, your business in the fact of like, everybody be having their own stuff going on. Other people's stuff can mess up what you got going on. But it ain't even got to mess with what you got going on. Because that ain't got shit to do with you. Mind your business. Stay to yourself. Worry about what's feeding you, what's paying you, what's getting your bills paid, what's doing this, what's doing that for you, not everybody else. Like, I get people gossip and talk and whatever the case is. You know, our friends, you, you guys exchange your business, stuff like that. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about you always worrying about what other people doing and it's affecting what you doing. No. One thing about it, I be worried about myself. Even so much to the fact what people be calling me and stuff and, and, and I don't be answering and I be feeling bad sometimes, kind of. You know, but that's because I be over here so stuck in minding my business. I don't be trying to be worried about what everybody got going on. Especially me. I work at a job where I talk all day. I don't be trying to call and get the tea. I'm chilling. I'm vibing. That's it. Mind your business. Number eight, move your body. That's like another thing that kind of goes in with me, like listening to music. Like I love to dance. So I love music and I love to dance. And when you put them together, baby, you're going to do both. You're going you gonna to dance. Like if you listen to music, you're going to dance. That's just what it is. Or if you're dancing, you probably listen to some kind of music. Like that's just what it is. So I just feel like moving your body and keeping your energy up and like, I don't know, like I'm literally just always moving and dancing because that's just what I like to do. Um, and I just feel like that stuff keeps your energy up. It makes, like I said, make the day go by smoother. It just, it's also like a workout, keep you, you know, able to move and flexible and stuff like that. Um, or I mean, duh, working out, that's moving your body too. Now I ain't, I ain't got back into working out yet. I'm gonna try to start back tomorrow. I'm, I'm working on that. So I can't really say working out right now, but I can say that I dance at least once a day, multiple times a day. So what is that? A little feather or some fur or something. But yeah, either way, move your body, get out of bed, go on a walk, jump rope, dance, shake your ass, jerk, you'll something <laughs> like do something to move your body. Work out, like do something. That's it. Do something. Move something. Get the fuck up. Okay, number nine. So this kind of go in with my, um, like, liking it to look good and stuff. Spending money. Spend your money. I know it sounds crazy. Because in unrealistic life, they just want you to work and save your money for a rainy day, a hard day, whatever. I And, and listen, I'm not saying don't spend your money. Because I think, I mean, not, I'm not saying don't save your money. Because I think that you should save your money as well. But spend your money too. I mean, I know we have to spend it on necessities and stuff that we need, but spend your money on your wants too. If you're like me, I and yeah, if you're like me, I work full time job. Like I work eight hours out the day, five days a week. And it's easy to just be tired or to, I don't know, more or the story of my story. Spend your money. Because one thing about it, I'm not going to be somebody that's just seeing him slave and working hard all damn day and I don't got nothing to show for it. Except the money. Go, I mean, like, even if it do go straight to your bills, like, 
you should have something enough for go get go out to eat go get yourself a meal go have a drink go buy yourself a little gas you know do something to kind of reward yourself that's that's what i'm gonna say reward yourself because i reward myself all the time i probably reward myself every day <laughs> if i'm being honest so just spend your money like you i don't know about i don't know i'm gonna say for me for me i work too fucking hard to just spend my money on bills i don't work to live I mean, I do in a sense, but no, I don't. I mean, I work to live, not live to work. Yeah, I work to live, not live to fucking work, okay? I don't live to work. I might work because I have to live and like it pay my bills and stuff, but I'm going to go spend my money too. I worked hard for this money. I'm going to use this money because that's what I have it for. So buy stuff that you want. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Like don't go. I mean, I can't even say don't OD because I'd be ODing sometimes too. But freaking get stuff that you want. If you've been wanting something, save up your money. If you're going to save up your money, save up something that you want. Not just for something you want, but I'm saying like save up for something you want. Reward yourself. Treat yourself. Go get ice cream. Go get a bottle of wine. Go, like I said, go to a restaurant. Freaking shop online. Get your little online order. Treat yourself. Go buy, buy a new wig. Go get your nails done. Something. Treat yourself. I feel like everybody gets so caught up in life that they don't really make time for themselves. But one thing about Deidreana, she gonna make time for herself. She gonna make herself happy. And that y'all probably too. Stop trying to make everybody else happy before you make yourself happy. Cause yeah, that's the one. This is number 10. <laughs> and some people might think I'm crazy for this. Talk to yourself. Me, I mean, I'm talking to myself now technically, but I'm really talking to y'all, you know what I'm saying? But talk to yourself. I talk to myself a lot. I talk to myself all the time. You can't talk to everybody about everything. You can't tell everybody everything. I mean, some some secrets gotta go to the to the grave, which you know what I'm saying. So talk to yourself. Be self accountable. Like talk to yourself, even if it's like something that you did to somebody else, or just I don't know. Like be self aware. Take accountability. Just talk to yourself on like how you can make things better or what you're trying to change. Like I don't know. I just talk to myself like. That's just me. Like, I'm like my best friend. So, I be talking to myself. That's just what it is. Like, I remember like, one night I was at my mama's house. And I don't even know if it was nighttime. But I was at my mama's house. And I was just in the shower. Like, just talking to myself. Like, just talking to myself about the situation. And I guess they could, like, hear me talking a little bit in the shower. So, when I got out, like, who you talking to? I thought she was on the phone. Like, uh, myself. Like, she was like, you can talk to me. Like, yeah, but... <laughs> I don't know. Like, I just like to talk to myself. I'm, uh, I don't know. Me just help me get through things. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes it's just good to say stuff out, out loud. So, and just release things into the universe, the energy, the world. So, yeah, talk to yourself. And ain't nothing wrong with that shit. Because I do it. I've been doing it. And I'm going to keep doing it. <laughs> okay, and these last two things are things that I know that i need to do to work on i mean things that i know that if i worked on them my life would be you know even more better but i don't have these mastered yet but like i said i know when i do i'll be even better yeah i just like those are a few things that like just keep me in good vibes good energy on a day-to-day -day, and also some things that i want to add to just even add to me having good energy and good vibes every day so yeah, that's just what works for me specifically. But I know everybody has different things, different lifestyles, different routines, different people around them, different, you know, surroundings, things of that sort. So that's just simply what works for me. That's what keeps me in good vibes, good energy, good moods. Like that's just what keeps me high spirited and things of that sort. So um, I feel like there's probably more things. So if y'all do want like a second video or something, I can definitely get that for you um but other than that that's just like my main few things that i do to just keep me in in good vibes good energy each day like i don't know that's just oh well i almost forgot to say one thing too having a good support system like like my mama amazing 
like or just having somebody that can have your bed or you can talk to i mean like me and my mom just i mean i just feel like keeping the communication because I'm a, I'm a big family person so just keeping the communication with family and everything in general that's a big thing too so um i would definitely say that but yeah that's that's really it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoy it um if you do enjoy it go ahead like comment share and subscribe thank y'all so much for watching let me know what other kind of videos y'all want below or if you actually enjoy this video and yeah i just hope y'all have a great day work on having that great consistent good energy good vibes and yeah just work on being your higher self your best self your happiest self and that's all i can say but yeah i hope y'all enjoyed it thank you for watching again i am out